Hmm? Yep. Filming you. This is going in the video. It's not. <laughs> it might, it might now. <laughs> what, do I need to carry something? Nope. We're leaving most of the stuff here. Cool hat. Thank you. So you've already got what I need out there? Yep. Okay. This is your rod right here. Make sure you're packing heat just in case one of these bluegills gets out of control in the cooler. Yeah, if you, need, if you want me to upset, we need it. No, I, won't. I should get one too. I, I carry around so much gear. <laughs> That's why you have a new cart. Yep. My new cart can hold like an AK or something. If I put an AK in my cart and wheel it down the pier, I don't think anybody's gonna fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. Supposed to get up to 70 today. Really? Yeah. I actually did not know that until just now. Well, until the sun gets blocked out and it drops to 55 again well i'm okay with dropping to 55 i don't know about the 35 so. <laughs> i don't i think we're done with that this year another beautiful day hey guys and welcome back to the channel i will let you know straight away we are doing something that might not be the most exciting to watch today we're gonna try and catch some bluegill here but we're doing it on an island and we're doing it leading up to a solar eclipse so there is there is that. And then what makes it really special is that I'm doing it here with my dad. That's my dad. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna have any luck, but we're gonna try our hardest. We're gonna be using live bait primarily, maybe only, and uh, see if we can catch anything big out here. Come along with me. You hear that weird ass bird? Might be one of those big sand hill cranes that scared the absolute crap out of me last time <laughs> like the size of an ostrich right here what do you think that night crawler or a uh, little grub thing Start wax worm night crawling. all right that's what i would choose to get her done probably catch one right away oh I see a see a fish right there dead bluegill yeah. if it's the only one I'll get it at the end <laughs> see if I can get the this is really light but I'm gonna see if I can get it a little further out oh yeah Uh oh, look at mine. We got him. First one. Doesn't feel big, but we got one. Oh, it is nice. <laughs> Gotta play him a little bit here. Look at this one, Dad. Yeah, that's a good one. Woohoo! That's a slab. <laughs> Dude, this might be, that might be like a nine incher. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that's a big one. I gotta measure him. It might be, if it's 10 inches, like I don't really have a gauge for it, but if it's 10 inches, it's a master angler. It's pretty close. I think it's at least nine. I think it might be a master angler bluegill on my first cast. <laughs> I got a measuring tape here. Look at that. It's real close. I'm gonna take a picture just in case. Oh, 
I'm getting a bite. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> He left me a little bit of night crawler. Just missed one. Uh oh. Dad, pull your pants up, Dad. It's swimming away with it. Pull it. You get him? You had to, got him. <laughs> Is it a nice one? Nice. It's all right. If it's big enough uh, for you to fillet it, throw it in there. I'm getting a, I'm getting a bite right now. Oh, I got one. It's tiny. Yeah, that one's a little more this one. This one's got enough meat. I can get a bite of meat off him. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing them swim around over here. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Got one. Feels pretty decent. Yeah, I got a decent one. Here we go. Ugh. Fish number two. I think this spot over here is pretty good, Dad. I'm gonna have you come over here and fish. Nice one, fish number two. Oh. Through here, about halfway out, you'll see some lily pads. You know, just cast like three, three or four feet to the right of them. I think there's, I think there's fish hold up in there. It got hit immediately. And I'm gonna explore down this way, see if I can find any more. Here we go. Gotta let him take it first. Something was pecking at it. I might just be caught on some weeds. Nope, I got a fish. Just a really tiny one. Ooh, a perch. Oh no, little baby perch, come back. Ugh. Watch this little guy. Oh. Well, fumbled that one. I wanted to show it to you guys, but it was just a little baby perch. Oh, oh, I had a bite, Dad. Missed him. Man. All right, with what I got left, they have no choice but to bite the hook. One thing I love about the Oro strike indicators here they don't make hardly any splash in the water. I don't have to worry about spooking the fish. You can cast right on top of them. It might spook them a little bit, but they'll come back. It's not a big splash at all. Got one. <laughs> My indicator just started to slowly sink. Got one, Dad. Not a giant. He just spooked another one too. Oh no, not the stick. There we go. There we go. All right guys, I think I just failed to record my last three to four catches, including an eight inch hog. And my dad caught one, but uh, I was getting a bunch of bites. Uh, he has not been having the same luck. He's been using the exact same bait as I have. The only difference really was the bobber that we're using. I'm using a small strike indicator. He's getting a bite right now and he's using a more traditional big slip bobber and mine was getting hammered they weren't touching his then i gave him my combo and now he's getting bites with the strike indicator i'm setting up our other rod here this is an oros screw on strike indicator you just run the line through the middle there screw it on it's a lot more subtle it doesn't spook the fish when it hits the water it's still plenty buoyant enough, buoyant enough to uh, hold up the night crawler no need for a split shot. You could put one on there though and it would still float. But we're just letting these drift weightless. The wind is kind of blowing the bobber around and the, 
night crawlers covering more water that way. Now we got both our combos rigged up this way and I think we're gonna do a little better. Can't believe I didn't record that eight incher, man. Maybe I recorded it, I don't think I did though. Getting a bite. Got one. Ooh, a perch. Look at that. Most of the perch I catch in here are pretty small. This guy included, but I love perch. They're just beautiful fish. Love the orange fins. Let him go and grow. Got one. Another perch. Another little perch. Getting a bite here. Got one. Another small one. Size just ain't here today. We've got 10 bluegill, probably three decent size. guys we have changed spots again we are just exploring seeing if we can find some fish because it's been really really slow caught a couple tiny ones at the second spot we went to i don't know if i'll include that in the video but i'm getting a bite already so that's a good sign been finding all kinds of tiny fish just haven't been seeing the big ones got a 10 incher an 8 incher and then the rest of them just been medium to small getting another bite here got one Perch. It's a fish though. Yeah. Same size as the other perch, nice and small. See you later, bud. Look at all the little fish right there. Sam. Oh, it's loaded with bait fish. Yes. I'm telling you, there was four or five big fish right there. I got one. <laughs> <laughs> little perch something tiny Wait till you see it. oh you caught it I go put it on I go put it on for bait <laughs> why not oh hell yeah <laughs> you should mount that a little shiner that's a beautiful fish yeah <laughs> that's a good bait <laughs> throw throw them under that uh off the end of that tree for the bow fin. <laughs> that was definitely the catch of the day. No one else should even try. I think the eclipse is going to be happening soon. Where's the sun? All right, I looked at it. Shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> All right guys, finished up fishing with my dad. We didn't exactly slay him out there, but had a great time and uh, always have a great time hanging out with my dad. Now I'm back at the house. I have filleted up our catch and we are getting ready to watch the solar eclipse. And what better way to watch the solar eclipse than through a pair of Waterland sunglasses. In all seriousness, even with sunglasses on, you should never stare directly at the sun. That's just dumb. But if you guys are in the market for a premium pair of fishing optics, you can save 15% with code DTF15 at waterland.com. And now I'm going to set up my camera and attempt to film the solar eclipse with my Waterland sunglasses over the lens of my camera. I have no idea if it's gonna look cool. You're gonna see it either way. It's either gonna look cool or it's just gonna look like nothing, but we're gonna learn something here today. Let's check it out.
All right, that was either cool or it wasn't cool. I won't be sure until I'm into the editing process. But thanks so much for watching the video and I got a lot more coming, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.